Hey, Sawate, the Skibli and Sawate Omnes. Welcome again to another episode of Latin and Layman's. I'm actually going to be doing some Latin for today, and we're going to do some simple sentence translation from Latin to English. And then we're going to understand it essentially as to why we don't really rely on word order. And if I just were to go ahead and tell you just right off the bat before we get into it, in Latin, we typically put the main verb at the end of the sentence. So, yeah. And don't mind me if you if I have a little wet spot. I was just doing some dishes, so I spilled a little water. And anyways, also, though, um, I was asking my students, and what do you all think about these glasses? I um, I like them. I typically wear them around my house a little bit more. But um, my students say it makes me look a little bit more intense. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I oddly see really well on these ones too. So that's kind of like they're, they're my nighttime glasses. And I do wear contacts occasionally, but I used to wear them a lot more. And now I, I kind of do it just more so when I'm biking. So anyways, that's a little bit of a tidbit there. I don't know if you guys want to give me your honest opinions on that. But uh, yeah, thanks again for coming on by. I really appreciate all the support. And to further kind of let you guys know I'm starting to pivot and I'm, I'm asking um, for anybody that is interested in Latin tutoring private and or group um, I actually am offering for people that want to do like a group there's a discounted dealio and you know I'm just trying to like again doing what we're doing here you know everybody's trying to make moves in this world y'all know the world's just getting more and more and more and more and more expensive. And, you know, I never really put stock in the whole like, oh, yeah, like, OK, boomer, this and this and this and this and this. But like for real, though, you guys, like I was th just thinking about it the other day. It's like how many of us are really going to have the opportunity to put a down payment on a house and, you know, all these other things in life that, you know, were, were touted to be so easy back in the day. You know, like I was reading about how you know, somebody could work at a convenience store, they could have a family, they could have children, they could put a down payment on a house and they could live, a, you know, a, a modest lifestyle working as in a gas station, just as a convenience store clerk or something like that. Like, you can't really do that nowadays anymore. So, you know, I'm just always trying to like move forward in any way, shape or form. And like we always talk about here, <clears throat> sometimes moving forward is moving on a treadmill or feeling like you're on a treadmill. Maybe you're moving laterally, right? Maybe you're just kind of like doing some side steppage for now, but you're still moving forward. You got that mo motion. You got that momentum. Just keep it going. And with that being said, let's get on into some translation and understanding Latin. And also with my tutoring, like always, uh, I, I am pretty dynamic with uh, such things. Um, I've tutored up to calculus before. I'm pretty I'm math oriented of which I, I'll kind of relay it back into conjugations and nouns because at the end of the day, we're doing a bunch of battleship trying to figure out what first person singular O ending represents, for instance, and X marks the spot. It almost kind of looks like a multiplication chart, if you will, right? Two times two equals four. Twelve times hmm. Equal, equals, well, I'm trying to triangulate my position here in my head, 144. If you didn't know, now you know. Now, let's get into some of this, and uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we're still filming real quickly. We are. So, let's do this. Agricola capram portat. So, Agricola, looking at this A ending, we're going to go ahead and, well, actually, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. What do we have below us here? We have noun land here separated by verb land here. We decline nouns. We conjugate verbs. So I'm only going to be doing the cases nominative and accusative in Latin, but we have, remember, in my older video, Nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and ablative, all being fancy dancy words that really refer to simple things. And in this case, nominative a ah, refers to a subject, singular a, ah, plural i. Accusative refers to our direct object, am, um, singular as, plural. So now, with that being said, verbs have first, second, third person, singular, and plural. 
O S T mus dis unt. O equals I, S equals U, T equals he, she, it, mus equals we, tis equals y'all, because y'all is just a contraction of you all, which is grammatically correct. So you can go ahead and use that if you want to, because it's true. And NT, plural amount of he, she, it equals a they. So now with that being said, let's go go right back on into Agricola Caprum Portat. Well, if we're looking at Agricola and we're triangulating that A on this chart here, well, I'm only seeing an A in my nominative singular, aka my subject. Well, the rule for my subject is typically it comes at the beginning of the sentence, the main character of the sentence. So we can go ahead and we can start off with Agricola is when my first move it means farmer. It's where we get agriculture from. Those that conducted agriculture were farmers back in the day. There are no articles in Latin, so we can Englishify it by putting a the or an a in there. And then we have a the farmer. Now, from there, what are we going to do? Now, this is what I call a little bit of a bunny hop all the way from Agricola to Portat. Portat here, well, with that T ending, if we triangulate our position in our verb chart, we have third person singular. This is what we call a subject verb agreement. If I have a singular subject, I have to have that singular subject doing a singular verb, right? Don't make no sense for it to be a singular subject doing a plural verb. Nah. -uh. What does portat mean? Well, it means to carry. It's where we get portable, export, import, transport, support. All right. Well, the farmer, what is the farmer doing in this case? Well, let's just go ahead and bring it on down and say the farmer carries. And in this case, the farmer carries the coprom. And looking at that AM ending, we go to accusative singular, which refers to my direct object, aka what is coming after the verb. So we got the farmer carries the coprom, copra being goat. This is where we get Capricorn. And I know that that sounds like a little bit of a silly sentence, but there we go. Hope you learned a little something new. Now we can do a little bit of some changing around. Why don't we turn this A into an AE? Now, if we do that, what do we got to do? If this is now a plural subject, I got to make portat a plural verb. So that means that that T turns into an NT, right? Because a plural amount of farmers equals a they in this case, where a singular farmer could be referring to a he, she, or an it if they were a non-binary individual back in the day. And then coprom, now if I wanted to say coprom was actually now a plural amount, then I would just change it to copras, and there you go. This is why we have endings. The endings in turn dictate how this, this noun or adjective, if we have an adjective, functions in this sentence, right? I can just turn it singular, plural. It's already gendered as such with that feminine uh, ending in the first declension. And I want to reiterate, or not reiterate, but touch on the fact that I have this A here kind of standing apart. A is the thematic vowel indicating the first conjugation. E with a long E, second conjugation. E with a short E, third conjugation and then so on and so forth. I don't want to get too much in the reads. But now i got to change the English because if this is a Greek or lie, it is not farmer. It is now farmers. Now, copras, well, that don't make no sense if it's just one goat, but it comes to the plural here, so i got to make this goats. Now, there's one thing. Read this aloud to yourself. The farmers carries goats. Oh, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and put a little article in there to Englishify it a little bit more, if you will. And why don't we go ahead and make that plural verb function such so that it actually makes a little sense and we don't sound like we're crazy and we don't know actual grammar. There you go. So as you can see, we just basically changed the entire thing. And now if I wanted to, which I'm not going to do in writing, but if I wanted to make it so that the goats are carrying the farmer, then in turn, I would turn this accusative direct object into a subject, nominative subject, aka I can make it AE, 
So then it would be copri, and then agricoli would turn into either coprom or copros, depending on if I wanted to make it a plural amount of farmers or